Hey, this is Tilak. Welcome back to our fast formula tutorial. Today we are going to look at one more fast formula from uh, CWP. Okay, workforce uh, compensation. Oh, well, the formula we are going to look at is compensation hierarchy determination. This formula helps you to determine who is your immediate manager or who is your, like, you know, the other managers. Actually, there are options to determine this one. In case you want to have your own, like, logic, or you want to have a different, not a supervisor, basically hierarchy, or, like, you know, any other hierarchy, you want to have your own custom logic for everybody, you can write a first formula. Okay. It is very similar to what we've seen in the access level. And uh, in the setup also, basically it is falling in the same areas. Now, what are the context? It's the same context. There's no difference in the same context. So far, whatever we've seen is applicable to here also. I told about this more than one time, like, you know, most of this formula from entire compensation takes a similar context. There may be a small exception here and there, but overall it takes the same context. Now we look at the input values. Okay. The input values is the same thing, like now it's the start date, end date, plan date, ID. So this also we've seen in uh, all other formulas. The only thing surprised me is, if you are looking at the access level, they have a hierarchy type. Okay, but somehow I don't see it here. I'm really surprised about that because here we are talking about a hierarchy determination, but the hierarchy type is not passed. If the hierarchy type is passed, what is the advantage? Probably you can write the same formula for the both the hierarchy types. Like you know, there are two hierarchy types, so you can write the same bus formula according to the condition. You can do that. Now, what you have to do, you have to write a two different bus formula you attached to that. So it's not a big deal, but that like would have nice to have it. Now, what is the return value? Here, the return values, when you are talking about hierarchy, there are two information is involved. One is a person ID and the assignment ID. So either you can pass a person ID or you can, like, you can pass a person ID or assignment ID, or you can pass a L person number or L assignment number. But if you don't pass a person ID, pass the assignment number or assignment ID, automatically it determines the person ID. So in case, if you are passing a person ID or a person number, like, you know, then basically it goes and picks up that the primary active assignment as of the date. That's what it does. Okay, is all done in a the program, not in a formula. What you are returning is basically you return a person ID, assignment ID, or a person number, assignment number, or one of it. But in the end, like you can pass, it's better you pass the assignment ID, assignment number, or as a person number, or assignment number. You pass that combination, you are fine. Now, you don't want to pass anything for some reason, you can pass minus 999. So if you are passing a minus 999, either in a person ID or an assignment ID, that information will be taken as a null. So like, you know, if you want, if you have nothing else to pass for certain conditions, you pass minus 999. That's all. Now, what are we going to, what kind of example we are going to see it in this first formula? I'm coming out with the very simple uh, logic. I don't know how much it can be useful for you, but the logic is, I'm going to pass up managers, manager's ID. Okay, for example, like, you know, I'm working as a developer, I have a manager and that uh, the manager is a director. So I'm going to pass the director as my immediate hierarchy. So that is what I'm going to do that. Now let's see how we are going to write the first formula. Now we have created a formula. Now we are going to attach the formula into the plan. I have already done that, but still I show you where do I attach all the stuff I'll show you. Okay. Now I'm going to the compensation plan. Okay. I have a plan. This I'm using for testing the past formula. 
But I go to a configure hierarchy. This is where I went for uh, even that the previous uh, formula you can see in the tutorial, same way that is where I attached. Like uh, here, there are many options. You can choose a formula. The previous formula means that means the default access level formula. That's what I was talking about. We can choose the formula we want it. We already attached to that. There are two formula I attached for we created. And this one is basically if the formula is returning null, then what's supposed to be? You can use the primary manager if that's the case. Okay. And you can attach the same formula here too. This is what I was talking about when I explained that uh, we don't get that input value as hierarchy level, that which hierarchy we don't get it. So, like, you know, any formula you are developing here, you can attach it here also. Now, I'm not, I'm not doing a secondary hierarchy. I'm just doing a sample. So, like, you know, I'm not doing the secondary hierarchy. Okay, I'm saving that. Okay, it is saved. Now, save and close. I'm going to run the first formula. I'm sorry, I'm going to run the start process. Already validated, you can validate. I'm going for here. I'm choosing that there's only one. This one, open. And I'm going to give a, a one manager, I'm not going to run for everybody. Maybe. Try that. Submitting the process. No. Okay. The process takes a little longer time. The process completed. Now I'm going to look at that. Um, a law. Okay, I'm going to do that the child process. That is where the formula get processed. I'm going to look at that. Okay, now let's see. I'm going to into the first one. Okay, it has processed. Okay, I'll take the first one. Okay, the first one is the basically the federal and probably he doesn't have any man. I think that's he probably not have money. That's the reason it's coming XXX. It is going to take that, like by default, whatever. It doesn't have a manager. Okay, that's a problem. It doesn't have a manager. That's a problem that the error in the data. Okay. And if you are looking at the next guy, uh, the Nardil, the Federal is the manager. He doesn't have a manager's manager. So, manager, manager not found because Federal doesn't have a manager. Okay. So, so the manager himself goes in. This is what we wrote it. Like if the manager's manager is not there, use the manager as it is. Okay, now we'll come to the last one. If you are looking at the last one, is the name is a Emma. Okay, the RJ Emma. Her manager is a line manager. Okay, and the line manager manager is com manager. So the manager's manager is com manager. Now all this data goes under the Emma will be under RJ manager according to com manager according to our formula. Now let's go and look at the data. Okay, I'm going back after that data. I look at that as a proxy manager. Okay, I'm coming as uh, this one, like what's the, okay, this one. Now I'm going to change this as com manager RJ. That's what I'm going to do that. Okay, here there is, I'm not seeing a line manager could be there down, but okay, let's see. The Yamma should be under this person. Okay, now let's see. I'm managing a budget or allocate, allocate a bonus. I can go either one is fine. Now, if you are looking for Yamma, Yamma is not there. Yeah, Yamma is here. Emma comes under CMB manager RJ. Okay, so this is what we did. This is working fine now that the com manager allocate the bonus or control whatever the data. Okay, now it is working the way we want it or as we expected. Okay, that's all for the session. Our next one would be that um, the default value for formula. That's the most used for formula compensation. And we'll see that in the next session. Till that, if you have any question, any comments, put, put it in the comment section.
Thank you.